To our special guest, David Tepper, founder, president, and chief investment officer of the $16 billion hedge fund Appaloosa uh, Management. Last time, the next time, and this time, I mean, couldn't we just sum up a lot of what you said? It's crazy to fight the Fed. I mean, it's that simple. Yeah, I mean, look, there's other events that can happen that can, you know, you know, like I said, D.C. can screw things up a little bit. But generally speaking, the Fed That's thinks... That's your thing. Generally thinking, Fed, what the Fed has done has worked in the real economy. What the Fed has done has healed the markets. And there's no reason at this point in time to think that the Fed doing something with so much liquidity in the markets is going to have any kind of long-term negative effect, particularly once we get over this... Um, you know, this disagreement that's going on in D.C. and we get something done. Well, then you, 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 you listen, you asked whether we listen to Richard Fisher. Did you hear? You listen too, right? You heard his, ho it, you yes. heard his, you heard his Hotel California analogy. Mm -hmm. yeah, I called it a Roach Motel. But you can check in, but you can never check out. He seems to be, and a lot of people, the, the, the true, um, you know, there is a whole group of people that think the Fed has gone way too far and that we are going to have, that they're going to come home to roost, that the chickens are out there waiting or the roosters or whatever the hell comes home to roost. Um, you don't feel that way. I mean, you are more near term. You're worried about 2013. You're not worried about your investments in 2015 and 16. Well, I, I'm, I'm worried about when we talked about uh, the things going on in D.C., I'm worried about right. the law. But you're not worried about this huge think, balance sheet and I trying to, trying can, to finally... I think the balance sheet can hold and it can slowly whittle down. Okay, over time. So, you know, they stop buying and it goes whittled down. But we won't and need if, a Paul Volcker in the future that, that Well, needs listen, to... if they start, if they need to do it, that all they have to do is start taking that balance sheet down and we'll start contracting well, that the sounds economy. E that sounds easy, David. That, it's, not, it's not easy, but it will happen. And, and listen, to his Hotel California, yeah. who wrote that song? Uh, Eagles. Eagles, right? Glenn Fry. I'll, I'll give him Don Prince. Henley. I'll give him Prince. Uh, we're going to party, party like it's 1999. Yeah, we can party like it's 1999. Why doves cry? <laughs> okay, no, no. Party like it. Listen, I'm not talking you about the red, economy. Red I'm talking about you beret. have so much money. Not yeah. red, red berry beret. Yeah, you, you wear red raspberry. 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 raspberry beret. Raspberry, raspberry beret. Raspberry. Not raspberry. red berry. I didn't say red berry. I said raspberry. Okay, raspberry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's in your ears today? Uh, I, I, don't have, I don't have monitors <laughs> in my ears. I don't have any. Um, what, what, so then we will get to 6.5% on track. On, in unemployment, this will work. Do you, Listen, in other words, you do you ask, believe, you, you do you believe in the new normal? Now you're asking me a different question. No, but do you believe in the new normal? Do I believe like in the, the, the new Like the PIMCO normal? idea that we're, uh, uh, we're going to have sub-employment um, permanently? We're going to have... The question uh, that the Fed is taking a chance, if you, this is a different way to put it. The Fed is taking a chance that 6% is where you start triggering inflation, okay? That's the real trigger here. That's the on question. The, on the unemployment. Six unemployment. and a half, I thought it was. Right. No, they're going to go to six and a half, but I think the bet is that that's they're not going to trigger. The they're not going to trigger until you get to six percent. I okay. think that's the bet that I get out of this. Okay. I don't know if that bet's right. The question is, does uh, do you trigger it at seven percent? Right. Okay, and you could trigger for the real economy, and that's something Fisher would be worried about. You have to pull back, and you can't get to this extent. And you do have a higher. It is possible we have a higher employment rate. And I would love, you know, listen. I would, most important thing is people have jobs, and you know, and for people, self worth and such, but. Um, look, you, you know, there's the economy, there's markets, okay? And the big concern is inflation, okay? That you're going to get inflation sooner. On the way to sooner inflation, and remember, it's very hard in this economy to have inflation when you have a high employment rate. Which question is, right now, nobody's worried. It hasn't worked. People are worried about inflation. They haven't seen it. And you're not going to see it. I'm not concerned until someplace in the sevens. I'm a little more concerned than the Fed. They could, you know, I don't know if they're right or wrong. But you're going to, you know, at some point, everybody's concerned about inflation. On the way to inflation, on the way to inflation in, in the real economy, mm -hmm. you're going to have another sort of inflation. What were your best picks this You're best? going to have another sort yeah, of inflation. What were your best picks What is that inflation? What is, it? what is it? It's inflation and asset prices. Oh. Okay? So, you, you so know, so there's a market and there's this. So you asked me about... So you're going to miss out on it if you don't jump in on this. You have to be, you have to be cognizant that the... If you look at the markets right now, okay, and what people are doing, and you look at the options market, and then, you know, you can, we can talk about vols where they should be higher now because you have this kind of binomial sort of situation running. Um, if you look at the option market, you see right now what are people more concerned about? If you go 30 points out of the money, the put vol is a lot higher than the call vol 30 points out of the money. Okay. So I don't have to know anything else, but the people are still cautious hmm. because otherwise you should have this whole, whole even thing. Remember, the market can only go down. Right. As high as the market is, the market can go up. Where, and we talked about markets that go up four yeah. times, so that's how people are set up generally. And, and listen, I'm, I'm nervous. Nobody likes to lose two or three or four or five percent if it happens. 
at the end of the year because of something that happens in D.C., particularly at the end of the year for a lot of hedge fund guys that they get paid. We're probably more than anybody else willing to take a loss. We do that. We don't worry about A lot of people that. are taking money off the table at this point. Because they don't right. want to have that year-end loss. How many people had the year you had? Well, we, we do it when we're down. We'll put positions on. I know. Okay, so what was it that you did in the past year that got you 25 or 30 percent? And, and is it the same? You have some you, of the same. You want to know? I do. This is easy. It's always easy, right, when I come on the show to explain it? Well, the, in the it's past. always easy. It's yeah. easy. This is a market because there's a lot of street guys that are out of business, right?